Hi, I'm Jay Smith, and welcome to episode one of At Superior, where today we're going to discuss the benefits of digital printing and packaging. Digital printing is outputting directly to a press with no plate for impression, so each impression can be unique with that, or, or is unique. Um, basically, three different types of digital printing are dry electrophotography, which is your toner-based printing, uh, inkjet printers, which actually have a nozzle that will spray the ink to the areas that you want to have the, that has the image, and then liquid electrophotography, and those are your HP Indigo presses, where electri electrically charged liquid inks are applied and then dried to the substrate using a thermal blanket. Because you're outputting directly to a press in digital printing and there's no plate involved, there's a lot of savings in not only the cost of the materials, but also in make ready times. Here's an example of a uh, golf ball sleeve that I think we printed about 45 of these. It was just for one tournament and it was, you know, customized for, for that tournament. You could even do something like put each participant's name on here with it. Um, other great uses are for products that have multiple SKUs, chocolate bars, confectionaries. Um, you know, there's probably 60 different types of this chocolate. If you're printing one, then you could be printing 100 different SKUs with it. Um, another example of multiple SKUs are these uh, glass protectors for, for cell phones. And, you know, and for this company, it's a particular challenge because this package, packaging needs to be created in a very short amount of time once, the, uh, once they're notified of a new phone model coming out. So that means they really can't group multiple SKUs either. They'll have to print almost on demand for when the new phones come out. Short run type style box was a shoe box. Uh, this is actually directly printed. So this is done on with an inkjet press, directly printed on corrugated. And what this box was, was for a trade show. Uh, the people that had pre-registered for the trade show they actually had a pair of sneakers uh, that they were giving to those people and each in that the pair of sneakers were given away in a box that had the person's name on it and also the uh, the shoe size with that so each box was unique uh, the other thing that digital printing is really helpful for is white labeling where one product is rebranded in many different markets um, one example of that is a box for a, a perfume, and this particular perfume was also going to be sold in one of the, the club stores, so they wouldn't just sell the normal size of it, they sold the larger size, and then they also packed it with a couple other the, of their other products, too. And so the, the white labeling and selling to different markets, really, for uh, digital printing, is a great application for that. Test marketing. So, for this uh, this razor company, uh, they could test the actual package in a specific small market, and just make a few hundred packages that look will look exactly how the uh, the packaging is going to look in the full production runs, and then they but they could also make changes to it forehand. So it's great for test marketing. Uh, the other thing is. Um, items that have quick product life cycles. So if you wanted to uh, tag a product along with a different movie, you know, that was going to have a short life out there, um, you could do that with a digital printing and so you could reduce your runs sizes with that. Or if you, you wanted for uh, specific holidays, again, you could change up your packaging with it and not have to produce the much bigger runs that you limited edition type boxes where 
limited editions really become unlimited editions because each piece can be unique. This was a, uh, a wine box that was produced for a new type of wine that was coming out and what the company wanted to do was send it to the uh, different wine critics and they wanted to send it in a special box so they actually produced about a hundred boxes. The summer of 2015 where different sodas had uh, were name specific on it and this was a huge uh, success for the for the soda company uh, it was great for social media because people would find a a soda with their name on it and then actually post a picture of them with their soda on social media with it and again this wouldn't have been possible without digital printing uh, right now with the HP they also have something called mosaics where they have very unique artwork with it so you could produce a product that none are none are the same with it. Uh, other benefits for the customer are you print what you need so there's greatly reduced inventory there's no sense in having to make a three-year supply to keep your cost down with it. You could just produce a six-month supply or a three-month supply even and reduce your inventory, also eliminate obsolete in inventory and, and improve your cash flow. Uh, you print what you need, faster, faster turns, also reduces foreign long distance competition so the things are produced locally and there's also huge environmental benefits to the digital printing um, it's there's greatly reduced spoilage in the setup and also in energy consumption the inks are eco-friendly there's no need for toxic chemicals for cleanup and plate making At Superior, we can help you with incorporating sound chips into your displays or your packaging, uh, videos, displays, act interactive videos can also be added to packages and point of purchase displays, and augmented reality, interactive websites with QR codes, and web-based ordering systems can all be developed and managed through Superior. So if you're interested in samples or information on how Superior can help you with your next packaging or finishing project, please contact me via email at info at sbpack.com. If you want to get updates on future episodes, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today, and now we're finished.